Hi and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. Today we'll be going over the steps involved to fully unbrick a brick to captivate. This is a segment I've been wanting to cover for a while. Uh, this could not be possible without a few of the members on XDA that have actually pointed this out. So this is in no way my ingenuity. Uh, this is my way to do it. Um, there's a couple other methods that, that use similar steps that I use. But this, in my opinion, is the easiest way uh, to do it uh, without having to try too hard at getting this done. It does involve hacking a USB cable, so you'll be needing to be prepared to do that. But most people in a bricked state do not mind spending the extra 10 bucks or so it costs to, uh, to get a USB cable. Um, I actually had a really cheap one laying around that was a couple dollars. But uh, I just wanted to go over the steps involved to get this done. So what we are going to do today is uh, we're going to take our USB cable. Here's a fully intact one right here. And what we've done is we've cut the cable to length right at the curve so you can see that right as this begins to curve we've completely cut that using a, a set of wire cutters and we've cut that smooth across then using a razor blade we um, we picked uh, at the plastic to expose the board and what you'll see here is three leads on this side you can see them top to the bottom there one two three and then on the back side you'll see two leads now we've gone ahead and ohmed through these here to see which ones they go to. This is an original uh, Captivate um, USB cable so this may vary if you're using a different one but uh, if you look at the connector in this orientation as if it were going to go into the phone this way uh, you would see this as one through five. Well the ones we're going to be talking about, the pins in specific our pins four and five so the four it's one two three four five so we're talking about four and five the last two on the right if you were looking at the phone in this orientation so uh, we've owned those out uh, pin five which is the furthest to the right goes to the uh, pin right here which can be seen on the far right so the side with three pins the one on the right is for pin five and then for pin four it goes to the side with two it's this one so uh, I know that's a little confusing right now but all we're worried about is uh, re-looping uh, uh, um, an amount of power to get this phone in a download mode so um, here we have a bricked Captivate if we turn it on this is all we get now there's gonna be a lot of you saying well hey this is unnecessary I can just plug my USB cable in and use a three button combo Newsflash, three button combo doesn't work for everybody, including this device. This device works on this, it doesn't. They're both 1008 builds. You know, who, who knows why that was done from Samsung, but it doesn't work. So we're going to go ahead and pop our battery back out, pop it back in to power the phone off. I'm going to set that aside. So what we've got here is a series of resistors. This is three resistors, and they're simply twisted together where each one meets and uh, when you take three 100 K's you actually get 301 K ohms of resistance uh, so you get the 100 100 100 plus one for the series so we did that by taking a package like this we took three out and we would put two near each other hold them with pliers and then we would just loop the edges around each other so I'm going to go ahead and explain how to do that using three more of these it's really easy. I just wanted to go ahead and show this um, in one of the more info section videos. Uh, you can actually see a guy do this using his method. So it's a little annoying to get these out, but you just rip them out, and we're gonna throw those aside and get what we need. And what I mean by this is we just set, kind of X them like that, and we use the pliers to hold them. And then from here we just kind of wrap. So we're doing the circular method and then we're straightening for that side and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Kind of go around it like that and then we'll straighten. So now we have this put together and it's pretty tight so it's uh, not really going to go anywhere. So do that with all three. So we'll X this one as well. 
and I'm aware that there is a video out there that kind of shows how to do this. I've actually placed it in the more info section, so we'll go around like this. But this is my take. This is the mobiletechvideos.com take on how to perform this and uh, a little more info about it. So now that we've fully wrapped that right there. Okay, so we've gotten this. Now we want to get this to the finished product which looks more like that. So all you really have to do is do something like this and then kind of get your things like that. So now we've got the series set up like this. So I'll put that one aside. Now we'll talk a little more about the cable. Uh, obviously we've hacked the cable square across and using some uh, some uh, some sharp uh, razor blades we've kind of chipped away until we see the circuit board so we can see our leads there and there. Obviously we're going to use the far right on the 3 and the far right on the 2. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and plug it in. So it plugs in just like a normal cable. So let me see, uh, give me just a second, I'll be right back and we're going to see if we can get a close up on this uh, using our camera. So go ahead and set up your resistors and I'll meet you guys at the next step. I wanted to make one note before we go on to the next step of actually doing this. Uh, if you have an ohm meter, you can check the resistance in the series you just made. So we're gonna, this is kind of a cheap ohm meter, but we're going to set it to uh, an ohm setting so we can see what we've got here and let me see if I can get a view of this from the camera see if I can use this setup there okay so that's that and we're going to ohm through each side here and we were looking at this rating we're looking for about a 0 0.3 which re represent 300 and it's drilling down 0 0.31, 0 0.30 that is 300k ohm of resistance. That verifies that this is going to work. Um, I had a more specific tool at work uh, just momentarily about a couple hours ago to test this with. And I actually picked up 295. So I can verify for you that 295 is close enough to make this work. So once we've done that and we've verified our resistance, we'll go to the next step. So now I'm going to, uh, to try to set the camera up to get a close up on this. So catch you in a bit. Okay, so we're getting ready to do this now. Uh, I've put on a set of latex gloves. This is going to prevent me from uh, falsifying the reading going through this. You can use tape if you'd like um, to prevent your hands from touching this and not getting the right reading. Or I've done it multiple times where I just touched the, uh, the plastics and avoided the metal. Uh, right now, we're about to get ready to touch one side of this to that right there. Tough to see, but... There's three prongs, so one's going to go on that side, and on the back there, there's two. The other side's going to go on that one. So both prongs are on this side of the phone, or that side of the phone, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, we're going to use this uh, envelope uh, holder to kind of keep things in place. And I will zoom in on that. Okay. Now I know it's going to be tough to see me actually doing this. There's really no way to do this without like an HD camera and way better lighting so anyways just bear with me and here we go so we're going to touch this end to the back side and I'll take a picture of this so you can see a lot better and this side to that side we're going to hold it and bam download mode this phone was fully bricked moments ago and now we are successfully in download mode. Um, this is an absolutely amazing resource to have uh, for when you have to really get this going. Uh, you think you've bricked, you've got nothing left. Try this. This just may save you. Uh, from having this turn into a $500 paperweight to being a, a still fully functional Captivate. So uh, I do appreciate you stopping by. Uh, of course, I want to thank the guys that, that really thought this up and came through with this. I'm not sure who to credit with the original idea. So I'm going to link to all three XDA threads for the different types of ways to do this. 
Uh, feel free to donate to me for showing you how to do this uh, through my video. Uh, but if, if you do that, you got to donate to the guys that created this if they have links. Because uh, this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm very appreciative to be able to do this and to be able to show you how to do this. Visit mobiletechvideos.com for uh, the latest tips and articles for what's going on over on the site. Um, please check out some other videos on the channel if you have some time. And as always, good luck.